We're having a relatively early start this morning. It's 8.35. Okay, not so early. But we're going to the island called Bijindo. to the ferry terminal in uh, Tongyang. So to get to Bijindo you have to come down uh, to Tongyang and uh, take a boat from here. It took us about 2 hours and 40 minutes to get here from Ulsan. We haven't had breakfast today, so we're gonna get something quickly to eat and then head for the boat. We only have an hour time. This is where we're going. The ferry terminal is kind of an inconspicuously hidden building. Uh, just doesn't look like anything in particular. It's kind of small on the outside and on the inside. But it's uh, nice and cool because it's super duper hot outside. We got our tickets. How much are the tickets? I just reserved an internet so you can check. How much are the Sachem you buy one? Fair. But you have to put the ticket in the internet and we can. Kushan, Sachem? Oh. So Lucy booked the tickets on the internet and it's uh, Manon per adults for adults, 9,600 for the adults and 4,600 for children. If you purchase online, if you reserve it online, um, I guess if you purchase in person, it might be a little bit more expensive. It can't be that much more expensive. Still, pretty good deal. I think it's about a 45-minute ride. The ferry is supposed to leave at five after one, and it's quarter to one, so I guess we got about 20 minutes waiting time, just standing around in line. seats in the front and uh, just flat floor in the back which is pretty customary for Korean ferries. Uh, the big ferry that takes people from Busan to Jejudo is basically uh, there's no sitting on seating on, on that ferry it's just a massive room with a flat floor and people just crash. Um, on that ferry you can purchase some uh, more expensive tickets in which case you put into a separate room with fewer people in it, but it's still on the floor. This journey is going to take us about 40 minutes to an hour, I think, is from what I was told. Hello, I am Lee. <laughs> I thought we've arrived, but apparently it's a, it's a different island. 
a different side, so we're gonna continue, I guess, our journey for a little bit longer. Nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, beaches in Thailand in a way. It's got a similar shape to uh, Koh Phi Phi uh, near Phuket because it's in a kind of dumbbell shape with two islands divided by a sandbank, which looks to be pretty white sand. Nice sandy beach. We've arrived. Um, so there are cars on the beach, on the island rather, but there are very few and they belong to the owners, but there aren't any proper roads for cars to drive around on. I was gonna walk while Mali, Liam and Lucy take the car, but since I can sit in the, in the, in the back of the pickup, it suits me just as well. Just winding through this tiny little road. I guess we're here. It's here. Very nice. With some slight difficulties, but we found our room. It was kind of tucked away next to all the other ones. It's the size of a tiny little apartment without a view, really. Just walls. We're nicely checked in and changed. Mali and Liam ran off to the beach. Uh, Lucy's still talking on the phone. So let's go explore. Who's that? That looks like an <laughs> octopus. <laughs> status report uh, it's a little murky it's a little chilly and it's a little stony at the bottom but the water here is a lot warmer than it would be back in Ulsan I think or or Busan I don't know and that during summer gets really really hot when there's like 50,000 people using the beaches but it's pretty nice here uh, it feels unlike other places in Korea it's a very nice long beach something you don't often see I guess Hyundai is like that, but uh, this feels kind of pristine. 
in a sense that it's not too crowded. Uh, there aren't any cars outside for the few that belong to the uh, business owners here, and they don't. The only thing they do is carry people from from the pier to the respective resorts. So because of that, because of a lack of transportation, uh, lack of car movement, the air here feels pretty clean. I'd like to check out one of the mountains a little bit later, maybe tomorrow, not today. Six o'clock now, and the beach has nicely emptied. I have no idea where everybody has gone to, because there is really nowhere to go. People got hungry and disappeared. We're kind of sticking around and are waiting for the sunset. There is a chicken place here. Right uh, there, somewhere behind me, there is a chicken place and it sells for 20 bucks an order which is like five five thousand one more than back on mainland it's almost seven o'clock i'm gonna go have a little walk around the neighborhood have a look and uh, see what's around here but i was told that there is nothing here i was told that there is like no coffee shops no no stores but that's not true because clearly there is a coffee shop here however small See, it says, well, come have a nice day. And inside, you can kind of see shelves stacked with food. There's a coffee machine right there. There's also a little store that sells ice cream, beer, and other goodies. See, they even have spam. And I don't know what's down these streets, or these little alleys rather. Bunch of mimbucks, whales and walls. These are the types of vehicles people use here on the island to commute. And these. There appears to be another coffee shop here. Americano hot, 3,000 and cold, 4,001. Pretty regular prices. One thing I have to say though, is that the chicken we ordered, which was $20 or 20,000 won, um, the restaurant would not accept a credit card. So if you do decide to come to this island, make sure you bring enough cash. Because my guess is that a lot of the little restaurants and little stores here that operate may not be accepting any credit cards. Oh, I went away from the beach 
and I hit this steep little incline. I think it leads to a road. I guess there are two or three different villages around these two little islands. It's really two little islands. There's, there's this one and the other one right across and they're connected by a sandbank. Uh, whether man-made or not, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, there's this uh, village that we're staying in and there's a road that follows up, just goes up the hill and around it and on the other side there's another port uh, which is I think the inner port it's called. We're at the outer port. Maybe it sticks out more into the ocean, I don't know. But there is another village back there and uh, we made a quick little stop over there on the way here. Um, and people were unloading as well. But this is a nice view here from the top. Check it out. <laughs> smell the barbecue in the air. Everybody's barbecuing. I saw people smashing um, uh, snail shells just next to our bungalow. I guess they'll be having some snails for dinner. I really like the look of this mountain. It's covered in, uh, in clouds. And it's not even all that big, but the clouds hovering above it make it look massive. I don't know, Hawaiian style. This is the Hawaii of Korea. Bijindo, the Hawaii of Korea. There's another little store here. Most certainly doesn't take any credit cards. Remember to bring cash. Very cool place. That's on the west coast, right? Uh, no, it's in the west coast. Okay, see? <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, I wouldn't expect it. Uh, 